Welcome to Celeb Alert, your go-to source for all things royal and regal. Today, we bring you an exclusive and heartwarming story from the gardens of the Palace of Holyrood House in Edinburgh. Imagine a perfect blend of tradition, elegance, and charm as King Charles, Queen Camilla, and the Duke and Duchess of Edinburgh host a magnificent garden party that will leave you spellbound. Join us as we dive into the highlights of this splendid event, showcasing not only the royal grace, but also the remarkable stories of the guests who made this day truly unforgettable. The king was in particularly fine form at the Scottish Garden Party, asking to extend his stay to meet as many of the 8,000 guests as possible. His Majesty, resplendent in a morning suit and top hat, was accompanied by Queen Camilla and the Duke and Duchess of Edinburgh. Together, they descended the red-carpeted stairs of the Palace of Holyrood House, his official Scottish residence, to the delight of the eagerly awaiting crowd. A notable guest was Pratu, a rescue dog from Transylvania, renowned for his antics at Crufts and his role as an autism support dog. Pratu and his owner, Tess Eagle Swan, have a touching story that resonated with King Charles, who has a deep connection to Transylvania. The king gently stroked Kratu, acknowledging the breed's typical role as guard dogs in Transylvania, and expressed his admiration for Kratu's gentle nature and transformative impact on Tessa's life. King Charles also shared a hearty laugh with Rev. Mark Miller, a vicar from Stockton on Tees. Their jovial exchange underscored the lighthearted and personal interactions that characterized the day. Meanwhile, Queen Camilla, Stunning in a turquoise Fiona Claire dress and coat, engaged with dozens of members of the public, including scout leaders and a forensic scientist, showcasing her genuine interest in their lives and contributions. The garden party was not just about royal engagements, but also celebrated the achievements of individuals who played pivotal roles in their communities. Dr. Belinda Hacking and Mrs. Victoria Weber, the first lady high constables in 800 years at the Palace of Holyrood House were honored for their ceremonial roles in protecting the monarch and maintaining order at the palace. Their presence at the event highlighted the evolving nature of these historic roles, now welcoming women to serve as ceremonial bodyguards. As the royal family mingled with the guests, they also reminisced about their past experiences. King Charles joked about his school's cricket performance while conversing with Jacqueline and Trevor Hills from Nairn. Despite gray clouds threatening rain, the spirits remained high, and only a few drops fell, failing to dampen the festive atmosphere. The day's events began with the king receiving the keys to the city of Edinburgh, marking the start of Holyrood Week, a celebration of Scottish culture, community, and achievement. This year's festivities, although shortened due to the upcoming general election, were packed with meaningful engagements. The king and queen's arrival was heralded by a royal gun salute, music from the Royal Regiment of Scotland, and a guard of honor, underscoring the deep-rooted traditions that make such events extraordinary. Throughout the day, the royal family met with numerous distinguished guests, including D-Day veteran Cyril Byrd, whose presence emphasized the importance of honoring those who have served their country. The king's formal welcome to Scotland was steeped in history, with the ceremony of the keys symbolizing his acceptance and return of the city's keys to the Lord Provost, a tradition that has endured for centuries. The garden party culminated with an investiture ceremony and a reception hosted by Queen Camilla to celebrate those who promote Scottish literacy. Among the honored guests was Sir Alexander McCall Smith, the acclaimed author, and Professor Paul Miller, a distinguished composer, both recognized for their significant contributions to literature and music. Their achievements, alongside those of other honorees, reflected the day's spirit of celebration and recognition. As the festivities drew to a close, the royal family left a lasting impression on all who attended, blending formality with genuine warmth and engagement. From the king's laughter and Queen Camilla's elegance to the groundbreaking roles of the Lady High Constables, the Sovereign's Garden Party at the Palace of Holyrood House was a testament to the enduring charm and relevance of royal traditions. Stay tuned to Celeb Alert for more captivating stories and exclusive updates from the world of royalty and beyond. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for your daily dose of royal news.